Well, I'm going to take this opportunity before I do anything else to tell you that I appreciate from the bottom of my heart what you have done and that and allowing me to represent you on the ticket as your choice for lieutenant governor I will treasure that always and I'm thank you and I also I'm going to break protocol just a minute because I am a very proud mother and a very proud grandmother and I've got a whole table full of judge boys here and I'd like them all to stand up including my husband John this is Iowa values folks I also want to tell you and I don't think Chet knows I'm going to do this how proud I am and have been every day since February 15th when I joined Chet in this race. He's a good man. He's a good partner. And he's going to be a great governor. Thank you, Chet. Now, Chet and I have crisscrossed this state literally every day. We've gotten Mary roped into it. We're on the road. We're in every town we can imagine. Uh, in the town, out of town, shaking hands, walking, working day and night, and 23 days left. So I'm going to tell you that in those 23 days, my friends, Chet Culver and Patty Judge will not be outworked. And here's the rest of it. We will not lose on November 7th. But you have to promise something, too. You have to promise that you will help us every day. First of all, you need to vote early. If you haven't voted already, go get an absentee ballot or go to your satellite station and, and get that vote cast. And once you get your vote cast, gather up your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, and do the same thing. Get them to the polls. Get those votes in the bank for us. And then put a yard sign up. If you don't have one up, put up two. And put a bumper sticker on your car. No, it will not damage your car. If you put it on the glass, you can peel it right off after the election. We know, don't we, we have about 10 apiece on each of our cars. And at least everybody tells us that it's not going to hurt the car, we think. In short, you've got to help us now get out the vote. And when you do that, you've heard this already tonight, you're not only going to help Chet Culver and Patty Judge, you're going to help all the Democrats up and down the ticket. We're going to fill the courthouses. We're going to take the House, take the Senate, make the Speaker of the House out of my friend Pat Murphy, and make the, and at last we're going to say the Democratic Senate Majority Leader, Mike Gronstall. And believe me, I've served in the Iowa Senate, and I've served in the majority, and I've served in the minority, and the majority is just much, much better. And when we accomplish this, and we send my friend Leonard, somebody to keep him company in Congress, then we are going, I promise you this, we are going to have one heck of a party in January Chet's going to be the host, and I'm telling you, you're all invited. We want you there. Now, we've been talking about issues. 
We've been talking a lot about issues. We're talking about how we can do better with health care. We've been talking about creating jobs in the future through, with renewable energy. And we've been talking about restoring excellence in education in our schools. Chet Culver is a teacher. He understands the problems in schools today. And so it's my privilege to introduce to you someone who is going to tell you from real life experience. Beth Hoffa is a Hoover High School graduate from 1996, and Chet was her government teacher. So please welcome.